What's going on everyone? It's Chalazad here. I hope you are all well. Today we are doing a loot from 500 Alchemist Keys video. This is following on from the Crystal Keys video. I've had requests in the past. There was another uh, comment dropped on that video as well. So I thought I'd show you what sort of loot I get from 500 Keys. I got all of these from the Elite Dungeon 4. As you guys know, I haven't looted my Zook chest. There are keys in there too. So if you want to see more of these, do let me know. I haven't got high hopes for these, but let's get this underway. Right, so Cave Nightshade, I've never had that before in my life. All right, so the reason I don't... Oh, Wanisara Domin. The reason I don't have a lot of faith in these is because a lot of the drops in here are now dropped from Elite Dungeon 4. Uh, for example, Impious Ashes drops in there. The Accursed Ashes also drop in there. Thieves aren't really worth anything because everyone trains their farming now using player-owned farms, right? That's the quickest and best experience, so it's just not really worth using seeds anymore i mean there's a lot of money in planting the seeds uh dragon scale dust dragon scale dust sorry there you see this is nice hydrix bolt tips um the dragon scale dust of course we've got like thousands and thousands of that now but we will hopefully see something nice for all these um hydrix bolt tips um fingers crossed we get something nice from all these keys anyway i'm using the same tactic i did with the crystal keys where my pack yak is sitting right next to me and i can just do over 50 keys a run so let's uh, cruise through these and i'll give you an update as we go through also everyone the next video that's coming out is going to be a road to fractured staff of armadil following my um self-improvement slash uh getting better gear video you guys were all in favor of me progressing and pushing those boundaries a little bit more so i actually do have a video coming up which has got fairly exciting news in it so do watch out for that that video is currently in the process of being created as we speak um there's going to be a lot more content in that uh it's going to involve a lot more going on so it'll be kind of packed with more content to watch it's not just going to be finale of everything or or quickly summing everything up it's going to have a lot more in it than that so yeah bear with me with the next video but it's going to be a good one when I mean, we are getting some new things like the snake skin hides and stuff that's pretty cool mud doing i mean there's a lot of useful stuff involved in all of this like poison ivy seeds as you see they're worth some money i'll have to look into what the cave nightshade is made uh, is used to make the raw rat meat is 21k which is interesting these keys are valued, by the way, at 7k each, so they're valued at a lot less than the crystal keys, of course, but the loot from these is dramatically less. I think one of the best drops you can get from this is uh, multiple wines of Saradomin, I believe. I think that's what it said it, it did on the rune wiki. So, like I said, I haven't got huge hopes for these, but these were entirely passive again on the side. I haven't ever actually tried to sell these, so I don't know if they sell for the price. Let me know, let me know if you guys have sold these these keys on the auction house. Uh, auction house. This isn't wow. Sorry, not auction house. Let me know if you sell them on the grand exchange, and if you if they do sell, uh, I've never actually tried, and of course I won't be trying them trying that soon because I'm opening them. <laughs> Also, everyone, I would like to take this time, as I'm just opening chests right now, to thank all of you for the massive amount of subs and support that you guys have been offering. I love the fact that you guys are smashing that sub button so much. There will be a giveaway, as I said, at 400 subs, which we are only 10 away from. We're climbing quickly, and I really, really appreciate it. I really, really do. You guys have no idea just how much your, your support means and your subscriptions and everything. It means so much to me. So thank you again and again and again. There will never be enough thank yous that I can put in a video to to express just how thankful I am. <laughs> and I'd also like to say, everybody, I've actually had a few requests uh, from Discord through uh, the chat in... Sorry, the comment section in the YouTube videos of doing some group content. If you guys would be interested in doing some group content, whether it's harder stuff or just getting together and doing some bossing, I would absolutely love that. Voice comms or not, it doesn't have to be on Discord. Just let me know if you guys are into it and we will sort something out through the Discord so that, the guys, so that I know you guys are interested. Uh, and we'll get some group stuff together. So we'll schedule some times maybe towards the weekends where most people are likely to be free. Of course, we're not always going to be free. And we'll, we'll schedule some group content stuff because that would be a lot, a lot of fun. I would really enjoy that. So if you guys are down, I'm down.
feel like these would have been a lot more profitable before Zamorak release, but at least we get an idea of how much money they're worth after the Zami release. Uh, yeah, there's just a lot of stuff that drops like all the time from Zami. Uh, and ED4 that you just get small amounts from here. It's just not going to add up to the amount. I'd imagine the GE prices are not accurate, apart from certain things like the wine of Saradomin and the Hydrix bolt tips, Onyx bolt tips, things like that. Those obviously hold value just because of what they are. They're, they've got an ALK price as well, haven't they? So, but yeah, hopefully we make some nice money anyway. I will leave on screen how much 500 alchemist keys are worth raw like on their own and then we'll see what we made at the end so here we are everyone closing in on our final run of uh alchemist keys i had to check the name then i'm losing my marbles it's a little bit late right here so i'm a little bit tired um been at work all day but yeah this is the last inventory or the last run of the alchemist keys so i'll be back with you in a second to see exactly what we what we made in total of course unfortunately unlike the crystal keys there's nothing even a chance of getting anything really really rare so we'll just i believe actually these are probably more consistent money or more consistent the amount that you get each time you cut you do this in comparison to crystal keys um but let's just see just how much we made i haven't got high hopes but i hopefully will be proved wrong <laughs> So here we are everyone, this is the loot tab from 500 Alchemist Keys. The grand total that we made was 8.9 mil, so almost 9 mil from 500 keys. Let me just put on screen how much we made from 500, how, sorry, how much in value the 500 Alchemist Keys would have been worth. So as you can see, 3.7 mil was the price of 500 Alchemist Keys at the GE price, which means we made a total profit as opposed to selling the keys and opening the keys instead of 5.2 mil, which is absolutely insane. So I strongly, strongly recommend that if you do get these keys, you do open them yourself. I really, guy, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had an absolute blast once again making it. Please do watch out though for the upcoming video. I'm really, really excited for it for the road to Fractured Staff of Armadil. Thank you all so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next video.